Kimberly now for a look at this. Um, what do we dub it this morning? Hot Tober forecast. Hot -tober. <laughs> yes, you know, we're talking peak heat today and then we're just looking at these dangerously hot temperatures as you get away from the coast. We're going to continue to feel the heat for the next few days. So here's a look at our next weather sky cam downtown LA looking pretty good this morning. Not as foggy as yesterday. We still have some patchy low clouds and fog and we also still have some dense fog for some of our beach communities and this is the reason why there is that dense fog advisory in Ventura County. So you can see Camarillo visibility down to less than a mile and then we're looking at visibility for southern Orange County less than two miles for the Laguna Beach area and then as you head a little bit more inland Santa Ana also looking at visibility less than two miles and then as you head a little bit more inland toward the foothills not all the clouds made its way over there so still pretty clear once we head toward the rest of the morning that shallow marine influence will keep our beaches a lot more comfortable but then it's once you get away from the coast this is where the dangerously hot temperatures start to pick up again yesterday we saw some record breaking. We could see more records again today just because of how hot it's going to get today. And then as we head into tomorrow, we begin the slow cooling process, but our temperatures will remain well above average for at least the next few days after that. So this is something that we're going to continue to watch. Take a look at our high resolution future cast. So as we head into about 6 a.m. this morning, we still have some clouds lingering over portions of Santa Monica, LAX, and also the South uh, Bay, and then we also have some clouds near the Huntington Beach area, and then we start to see the clouds fill in just a little bit more around 8 a.m., and then we start to see a clear away for a lot of our inland communities, but some of our beaches may still see some gray conditions later this morning and into the first part of the afternoon, and then we should start to see things gradually clear away, but by the evening, we start to see a little bit more of the low clouds and fog start to pick back up again. Temperature-wise, because it was so hot yesterday, we are waking up to temperatures this morning for Santa Clarita in the upper 70s, mid 60s for Santa for the Burbank area, mid 60s for Pasadena and also Riverside, low 60s for LAX. So temperatures are up by a few degrees compared to this time yesterday, three for Wrightwood, one for Santa Clarita, six for Palmdale and two for the Riverside area. Yesterday, the heat advisory was added for inland LA and Orange County as we're expecting some really hot temperatures. Um, by the time we head into the rest of the afternoon, we're looking at temperatures topping at 106 for the Inland Empire. You can see we finally get that break as we head into the start of next week as we get out of the triple digit temperatures and get down into the 90s.